Welcome. Welcome to the 35th Chaos Communication Congress. It's good to see you. We have to start with two announcements. First off, uh, the two of us want to make this opening as good as we possibly can, so we need to do the German. Sorry to everybody who doesn't speak German. We do have live translations in English and in French, so if you look for translations in the wiki, you will find them and you will be provided with live translations by our awesome translation angels. Die zweite Ankündigung dient unserer rechtlichen Absicherung. Wir haben in den letzten Jahren in den Vorträgen ja gelernt, dass eure Gesichter personenbezogene biometrische Daten sind. Da wir von hier vorne einige eurer Gesichter erkennen können, ich würde so sagen, die ersten zehn oder was ja, Reihen, zehn Reihen das passt ganz gut. müssen wir euch darüber aufklären, dass wir euch halt sehen und eure Gesichter uns auch merken können. Da da, und dass ihr uns gegenüber das Recht auf Löschung und das Recht auf Vergessen habt, gemäß der dieses Jahr in Kraft getretenen Europäischen Datenschutzgrundverordnung. Wenn ihr von diesem Recht Gebrauch machen wollt, würde ich euch bitten, euch einfach nach dem Opening in zwei Reihen hier vorne an der Bühne einzufinden. Also die eine so hier in dem Gang, die andere da. Eine für Rufus, eine für mich. Ich nehme dann die längere Reihe. Wenn alle da Beteiligten so einen Chunk mit nach vorne bringen, können wir euch garantieren, dass wir uns morgen an nichts mehr, schon gar nicht eure Gesichter erinnern. Ja, schön, dass ihr da seid. Also jetzt, wo der Saal voll ist, wirkt er doch ein bisschen größer, oder? Quite big, isn't it? Ah, well, yeah, it's kind of big. Warm welcome to all of you, to the ladies and gentlemen uh, listening in through the streaming from home and to participants who are watching and listening from their desktop PCs at home or any hackerspace over the world. And we're going to try to get this over with as quickly and painless as possible, kind of like a Band-Aid ripper for the doctors. All right, so uh, some of you had a brilliant year. We don't want to take that away from you. I mean, but it, all in all, oh well, if you kind of look at the modern broadcasting systems, this year kind of seems like another additional that we're kind of, I'm going to put this uh, carefully, that we are in a bit of a difficult time. We had the state Trojan, the police is buying uh, tanks. I mean, who doesn't want to drive a tank? We all had kind of our own personal pain points with the, that we had a few things happening in the chaos community that were happening under difficult circumstances and that we also had a bit of a taste of what the new police laws are actually um, going to be meaning when they're implemented. The protest right now of course it's something that we are trying to like that's very loud and that that is very colorful and it happens in in chaos meetings in effort and you did a great job on that and these protests are seriously taking up creative shapes and forms and and we love seeing that and i have to say that um i kind of was a bit sad that the institution that in the last year was the most public about their um, position against the right usually sells Coca-Cola. Uh, so now this year is over, thankfully. Um, the family festival where we have to fix other people's computers is over. Now, now it's Congress, great. This year's theme is refreshing memories. This would be a good point in time to start in a lovely lecture of history, but because Tim did that last year, we kind of want to give you an advice. How about you just look at it at Media CCC, and I'll just say this much. The first Congress happened in 1984, quite fittingly in Hamburg. We had about 200, 300 people participating. 
durch, dass durch den Kopf geht. Now think about it and uh, look around, look around this room, 200, 300 people. And um, today we're here, 35 years later, we are still doing it. And above all, we are doing it more colorful, more diverse than ever before. The Congress is becoming so much more diverse and so much more thoughtful with every year. And the community is developing in the exact shape, same way and the family and the, the thought and, and all that still exists and it's it's handmade with love and all the angels that are here and they're still volunteers that are all contributing their time and their free time and they're not getting paid and without them this congress would not be possible and we're making this event happen where everyone for four very crazy days are allowed to basically do almost everything and anything and we're still doing this together for you, this will hopefully be a brilliant congress with very unique experiences and memories that you're making. If with all the blinking lights you can focus for maybe five minutes. That's at least what it is for me. It's a accumulation of fascinating, crazy, stupid people who gather in this one place, this space, for four days will create the most crazy overstimulation that I've ever experienced and this is what we do every year together. And together we're growing. I mean, obviously also we're getting taller. Uh, no, I mean in size. We're obviously not 200 people anymore. But we're also growing in really interesting directions. We have for this year, uh, new themes and topics, the Foundation Talks, which is a lecture series which um, gives a space to people who are absolute professionals in their area and who will present in an understandable yet very deep way. Like, for example, it starts with the Internet and it goes to the hacker ethics. So I think this covers something for everyone. and. There's a lot of experts and then giving them a space and a stage to re the people who really know what they're talking about to give them a platform that was the goal. And, and beyond that, we also have other topics that we are growing into as a chaos family quite well. Uh, we had a couple of meetings weeks ago, for about like a month and a half ago, we had a conference called Bits and Trees, where parts of the hacker community um, came together with um, environmental activists where we're trying to find the intersection between these two fields to work together and figure out how to um, create a society that's more sustainable, to create more sense for this world and how we can make this planet get it maybe a little bit away from from doomsday and I find it great that there's people that are getting together and who are looking into new direction and who can we talk to and maybe work with that is not within our bubble we're growing in stages I mean there's another another stage all of a sudden just grew last year four big stages this year five poof <laughs> where there's great talks in amazing, amazing uh, contributions that were put in. All these five stages, I mean, you can see them in the in the far plan. And I mean, that's just only the official program. I mean, this wasn't enough this year, so they kind of bypassed us on the right side. We have a selection of decentralized stages, maybe five, uh, please don't admit that we've lost, lost lost count in the overview. I only call them small stages so that you can distinguish them from the main stages. I mean, like, I was standing in front of the stage in front of Chaos West and that one isn't really very small and it's so impressive that from within the community there's so much quality that's being brought and content that's being put out that these stages were formed. This is just brilliant to see. Um, and I mean, beyond that, we're also growing and on a very personal level. I mean, obviously, all of us are obviously growing personally, but also as a chaos community. In the past year, 
we took on the question how within the chaos community we can deal with conflicts and people that have been part of of the community for for years got together to guarantee the security of the participants and they got together and put, contributed so much of their time and strength and discussion and telephone conference calls yes conference calls you know they're the best way of communicating with one another and they, they worked out a plan of how we can go further from this point out and from all of these discussions and this like discussions in closed circles there was two things that came about there's a new team for the congress that's the uh, Schiedsstelle or the arbitration uh, board uh, you can uh, read up on it on the help.ccc.de um, you it also introduces all the teams that for years have done a lot of work the sad um, there's all sorts of teams who uh, do a lot of work for conflict uh, resolution. Just read up on it on the page uh, if you want to get informed. Please inform yourself for your sake and for others, for the people around you. Because if somebody next to you in Hall 3 is all of a sudden collapsing, it would be great to know what you should be doing next. Inform yourself. It's a great way. There's a lot of uh, posters around uh, informing you, please. And while we are on this subject of giving you information and rules, uh, we can also maybe uh, tell you off a little bit. Please remember our photo policy. If you don't know it, you can find it in many, many posters distributed. We have a particular team that is uh, plastering these posters everywhere before time in time a manner before you take a picture ask the people that are in the picture that are visually recognizable in the picture if it's okay for them if it's a gigantic massive picture where there's lots of people in it maybe I don't want to talk to all of these maybe don't take that picture then we understand that you want to take pictures it looks great here we are every time blown away by the aesthetics of this event, but please remember this policy. <laughs> yes. All right, so the, the, moral, the moral swing was done. We can move on. I realize that whoever you talk to afterwards, we asked 100 people. It wasn't 100, but Depending on who you ask about this event, people tell you completely, completely different things about Congress that you could come to the conclusion that I've been at different events. More like five than two stories. One person told me that her Congress, most Congress experience was that she brought a server and a friend of hers took it as option to break into a server and came up to her afterwards and said to her, mm, dude, we got to talk about this. And another person told me about the sandbox with the projector on top of it. Um, I don't want to spoil this too much. You have to check it out. And she told me that that thing and the person who created that thing and in miniature explained to me excitedly how this thing works at 3 a.m. In, in the night. That was, I mean, when else would you find time to do that? That was great. And a lot of people shared amazing, brilliant stories. It's, it's about listening to talks, about doing talks together, learn from each other in this process and have fun together. And there was another person that also told me that it's kind of about uh, driving in the most crazy way through the halls and stop at all sorts of um, stop over and, and look at and, and get a drink at another booth and then you kind of end back in your own assembly. And a while ago a friend told me that the exact 
time frame in which you can be sure where another person is at Congress is exactly 30 seconds. So if I were to leave, I would be able to tell that you've left for about 30 seconds, but then you might be in heaven getting your angel badge. You could be at the bar in Chaos West or in Hall 4 at the lock help desk. I wouldn't be able to tell. And I love this rule so much because I've been so desperately looking for people so many times and unable to locate them for days. It's at the times when I needed them most. But the beautiful thing is that I always found somebody else who could help me just as well, even though I hadn't been looking for them. And they helped me at least as much. And that's what uh, makes Congress for me. Now, helpful people are one thing. I don't know how you feel. Maybe you're all very social people who love interacting with others at large groups, and that's no stress and no problem for you. But I, th I know that some or maybe even many of you don't feel the same way. I remember my first Congress, not that long ago, in fact. <laughs> And I met loads of nice people. I'm sure you know the feeling when you meet people who are so different from yourself that you learn new concepts and new ways of thinking. And it takes time to, to understand this. And I learned a lot from them. Because people always teach you things. They, and they partly do that by simply living them because uh, they do things in a way that differs from your own and you start to think, hmm, maybe I should try that as well. And I tried a lot, new th a lot of new things, all of them, of course, completely legal. And very few of them started at myself because at my first Congress, I was uh, busy looking around feeling overwhelmed, being a bit amazed, but also being intimidated because it's it's a lot. The nice thing is people want to talk to you. That's how I got to know all those people all those years ago. They want to tell you about the hackerspace and what they do there, what they've been doing for the past year, what they brought with themselves. Some never want to stop talking. But seriously, they want to talk to you and you hopefully want to talk to them too because that's why we're here. And the worst thing that could possibly happen to you is that somebody has no time. Nobody has died of that in, uh, either. And if somebody drives past you on a sofa that's uh, blinking and that has a cocktail bot in the back and... Uh, uh, looks robust enough to push aside the next police tank, then maybe stop them and ask them, hey, how did you build this? What gave you the idea? What other things, what, what inspired you? Because how many fuck-ups happened? What went wrong? Which is the best question you can, you can possibly ask somebody. The day my sofa burnt, do it. Talk to people. Of course, if somebody sits behind their computer with headphones, then maybe take that very um, subtle hint. They might be busy. But in all other cases, talk to each other and create memories that you can take along with you. If you feel the same way that I do and you struggle to talk to people when uh, you see something cool, then um, become an angel. It's the best way of getting to know people. Go to engelsystem.de, make an account, say hi at heaven, and um, look for a shift. It's not difficult, it doesn't hurt. And two hours later, you might be um, checking people's wristbands, but you'll be doing so with a person you haven't met before and uh, to whom you'll start talking. I met some of my best friends that way. It, it, it's an enormous help. And uh, people walk past because 
and you'll get to know them as well because nobody's in a particular hurry here. And you'll help volunteering. You'll get to see Congress from an entirely new perspective. And you help make Congress what it is. And this might be a good time to say thanks for all the angels that are here now and that have made all this possible. It wouldn't have happened without you. I think every opening needs the traditional question. Who of you is here for the first time? All right, that's uh, quite a few. Welcome. Nice to see you. Good to be here. And I'm a bit jealous of you. Because the first Congress is something really special. My first Congress was amazing because I was quite new in the community. It was my first Congress, it was, was my first chaos event, and I can't tell you how unprepared I came. I, I was struggling not to get lost at CCH. And uh, when I arrived at the Hack Center in Hall 3, I had I felt the urge to just just stand in the middle of the doorway and process what I was seeing. And it was everything at the same time, everywhere. And there was something there and there and there. And I, I just I couldn't stop being amazed and being fascinated and thoughts ran through my head. I started asking myself, how did you end up here? Who are all these crazy people? And I did this until somebody came along and told me to get out of the way. I felt like a small child in a toy shop. But this feeling didn't stop for the entirety of my first Congress. There was something behind every corner that caused me to stop and uh, wander. <laughs> and the year after that, I came back and thought I was prepared. You know what's uh, going to happen. I've never been this wrong in my life. So it's been the same feeling essentially every year. Even though I help uh, build this event from the very first day and drive through these halls for weeks, every year is so exciting and so crazy, uh, equally crazy as the year before. And something new happens that excites me and overwhelms me, like a small girl in a toy shop, especially because of all the things you bring. And uh, that's the thing we want, uh, we want you to do. Go through these halls and talk to people and have them talk to you make new friendships and uh, create new awesome things. Let's create memories that we can return to next year and let us do that every year. Let's, let's uh, make our first Congress as incredible as the first one and uh, let us make memories that we want to remember forever. Have fun!